Did you know that you can enter mission control just by dragging the window up to the top of the screen? Quite funny thing is that I have just discovered this feature now with the release of macOS Sequoia 15.2 when Apple actually allows you to disable it. So in this video I want to show you where to find this option, how to set it up and how, if at all, it interferes with window tiling. But first let's refresh all of the basic gestures and shortcuts how to enter mission control, because some of them might be useful in different situations. Mission control is especially helpful when you work with multiple windows, like I have here on the other desktop. By far the most common and according to me the fastest way how to enter mission control is to use the trackpad gesture. Easy three finger swipe up on your trackpad will get you there. It can also be set to four fingers or completely turned off on your Mac. So if it doesn't work the way I said, better check it up in your system settings. Scroll all the way down in trackpad settings. Here you need to switch to the last tab, more gestures. And in there you will find options for mission control. So make sure you have it set correctly. Mission control is super useful and I use it all the time. Every day creating additional desktops and transferring windows between them to be more organized. I don't like to work in such a mess you can see now on the screen. And I'm also working on a detailed video about all of the features and techniques you can use in Mission Control. I don't want to go now in such details, but you can already now subscribe to get all of the information later on. But now let's move on. Like almost everything on the Mac, even Mission Control has a shortcut. Quite a simple one. Control plus up arrow will get you to Mission Control where you can nicely see all of your open windows and desktops. You can also use the opposite arrow, arrow down to go back to your desktop. And if you press it one more time, it will open up App Exposé. That shows you only the windows from a selected application. In my example, it will filter away all of the other windows and show only the pages document. So Control up arrow goes to Mission Control and Control down arrow to App Exposé. If you are more of a traditionalist and like to stick with basic icons, you can also find icon for mission control in your applications folder. And then you can easily add this to the dock for a quick access. Now with a single click on the icon, you will get to mission control view. Next option is a bit more creative and requires a short setup. So go to system settings again, to desktop and dock and scroll all the way down. Here click on the hot corners button. In there you can add a mission control option to one of the corners. As you can see, I am not currently using that, but it might be a good option for you. I would myself put it in the top left corner. But if you like to know more about the hot corners and how I recommend to set it up, then click on the pop-up banner in the right corner to check it out. Or maybe watch it after this video. Because now we are finally getting to the new feature, which allows you to drag windows to the top of the screen in order to enter mission control. Well, to be more specific, this feature is in macOS for a long time. But now you have better control over it and you can even disable it if it's messing with your window tiling techniques. Because if I just drag the window up close to the menu bar, it will activate the fill in feature from window styling and it will maximize the size of this selected window to cover up the whole desktop. You can combine both of these features. If I go slowly up, it will show me the frame for window tiling. And to enter mission control, I have to go a little bit more up. But this might be a bit tricky. So I think it's better to choose just one of these features. You can find them both on the desktop and dock tab in system settings. Here the last option is about mission control, which I am keeping active. But I like to toggle off all of the dragging tiling options. Why? Because I can easily replace them with shortcuts, which is way faster and more precise. I can take this window to the left with an easy combination of three keys, FN key plus control key plus any arrow. So the left arrow will move the window to the left half of the screen. And I can use the other arrows to move it anywhere around really fast. And to fill the entire screen, 
I can simply double click the title bar. This option can also be set up here in the same place in system settings. I think it's more precise than dragging the windows up to the menu bar, which might be triggered so many times accidentally. So I don't really need any of these toggles from window tiling. But it doesn't mean I don't use it at all. I actually recommend you to watch my full tutorial about window tiling. There you will find a lot of small hidden features. You can probably see this video already now on the screen. So I hope to see you there or maybe in some other video next week. Thanks for watching.